You have to use your whole shoulder in the one on the other side. So just some things that need to be addressed as well. Windside Public Schools has a few problems. After about a decade of figuring out what the school needs to improve and expand, the Windside School Improvement Task Force is now posing a nearly $15 million question to the town. Is the school ready for some renovation? The plan is to add a dedicated ag facility for an ag-focused community, create more classrooms, and consolidate facilities under a single roof. You know, one of the questions I was asked is, well, what are you going to use the shop for? And I said we would probably use it to store our buses. In the process of drafting up what the school wanted, the team began to realize what the school really needed. To the point where we have a lot of needs that need to be addressed and we need to get them addressed. The condition of the building, we have this structural issue that you can visually see as you walk. So what's our next step? Aging plumbing and electrical systems, handicap code violations, and security issues are just a few of the more serious issues the team hopes to address. The community can see where this crack originates from the top and runs all the way through the wall. As you can see it in this closet pretty good too. You can see how it's broken the wall. Their proposal involves issuing school funds as well as using a bond measure to cover the cost. If passed, it will be a seven cents per $100 evaluation for over two years. A projection Offner says may be reduced as time goes on. In preparation for the vote, Offner has been showing concerned citizens, graduates, and other Windside residents around the school to give them a look at what's going on. To educate them and for them to make their educated vote whether it's for or against, we wanted them to have the information so they can make their informed decision. And residents have until May 11th, 5 p.m. to make their decision known. In Windside, for News Channel Nebraska, this is Jeff Brooks reporting.